Hey guys, today I'll be playing Elevator Hitch and it's about two co-workers who find themselves stuck in an elevator and must find a way to uh, get off the elevator and go on, go on to their actual destination. Proceed to enter. You walk inside the lobby. It's busy. There's a receptionist desk, but they're on the phone. They shoot you away before you can ask anything. It's a normal amount of people to be here. It's not the weekend, but it still feels crowded. They all seem to know where they're going. You're assumed to be employed here. You have somewhere to be, too. It's easy to get lost here. Your interview is not the... F not on the first floor, you know that at least. Elevator doesn't have anyone inside when it opens for you. You step inside and click the button for the hold the door. Um, as I was saying, you traffic was awful today, am I right? Taxi barely made it on time. Not like the boss will take that excuse again. I'm kind of trying to open the scene. Top four. And I'm actually going to see you two. What a coincidence. Oh god. Don't think I've seen you around here before. Who are you? Introduce yourself. I'm the new guy. You're the new guy. Um. Say I'm the new guy. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. Press one, two, three. Two. I'm the new guy. I'm here for an interview with... Oh, so you're the new new. I getcha. I've been here for ages. You won't have to worry about... Worry at all as long as I'm here. <sighs> okay. Let's introduce ourselves here. Why isn't this working? This work. Whatever I say doesn't matter to you, now does it? My name's... The name's Chase Beckley. Make sure you remember it. Nothing more annoying than someone who won't take the time to learn your name, right? Right. <laughs> Alright, let's ask, who are you? The name's Bryce Stryker? But you can just call me Bryce Stryker. Full-time employee of the month, mountaineer of the corporate ladder, company expert, agency prim, none of that was specific enough to signify anything. And part-time stock trader. There it is. Whatever I say doesn't matter to you, does it? Hmm, sorry, I didn't catch that at all. Whatever who says doesn't matter to me? Never mind. Okay. Oh, I can move it around. That's right. This is a pretty spacious elevator. Seems to be nothing here. Look again. How are the controls? How can I look up? My computer controls are really weird. Okay, hold on, let me figure this out. <laughs> I'm so confused.
Oh, okay. I just have to click. That doesn't usually happen, right? Why are you asking me? You think I know every office-related problem? Okay. Are the buttons still... Okay, uh, let's go up to... We're going all the way to the top floor, right? Um, I don't know, six? Okay. What the hell? What is this? Party floor? This isn't the floor I need to get to. But there may be something we can use to safely get out of here on this floor. We should check this floor for anything useful. Good idea. I was just about to say the exact same thing. So, do you want to step out and check it out? Wait, you want me to go? I'm more of an ideas man. Sorry, pal. But it was my idea. Maybe you can head out while I stand guard here. Make sure nothing bad happens while you're doing the easy work. But what if it's dangerous? I'm sure you'll think of something. You're the ideas man after all. Man, this guy's so annoying. Make sure they're actually safe. Um, okay. Uh, let's just plus one. See, that's the spirit. Make sure not to take too long. I might just die of boredom in here on my own. Will do. <sighs> Whatever, let's just go. We're just, who cares? Say yes. Are all the cubicles this small? I wouldn't know. I had an impressive... I had an impressive enough first interview to get an office to myself. Would you happen to be related to any of the CEOs? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Oh, no wonder he's an asshole. A prop computer doesn't seem to work. In fact, it seems to be made of cardboard. It seems to be stuck to the floor. Is that a phone ring? An office phone. Dial a number. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that. Okay, we have to find a number. Uh, I don't know. I immediately hung up. Seems you dialed the wrong number. Okay, let's click this. Cigarettes. A messy cigarette tray covered in ash with burnt cigarettes scattered around it. Pick up the burnt cigarettes. Yes. You got a burnt cigarette. Fun. Going through someone else's drawers is pretty rude. Um, yeah. We found a job application questionnaire. What is the strongest attribute of a great employee? Ambition, morality, functional, left kidney. Functional, left kidney. Is it for drinking? Uh, what is the second stage of grief? Anger, bargaining, confusion, depression. How long do you spend new girl rod remain? What the heck? Wait, A14. C21, D4610, and E10. Okay, this is weird. Fill out the questionnaire. Okay. I'm not gonna most of the what is the strongest aperture of a great employee? <sighs> Morality, functional left kidney. <laughs> functional left kidney. Ambition. Uh reliability, morality. I have no idea. Like, what do I put? Um Is it A? Ambition? Chose answer A. What is the second stage of grief? Um, B. I'm just gonna do uh, B. Bargaining. Because I'm just following what's down here. How do you want you spent nuclear fuel remains radioactive? I have no idea. Like, no one will have this knowledge on top of their heads. Three. Choose answer C. Choose Boeing. 
Oh, what the heck? It is a question? Oh, I did not know. Just war. Put the finished one back in the drawers. I did that wrong. I'm so sorry to whoever I did that to. You hear something rattling inside. When you open it again to check, you notice... <gasps> oh, the paper tore itself in half. Ending six rejected. Oops. Oh, okay. So we're stuck in the loop? He yeah, asked the hell was that? Hmm? That that thing, did you not what do you mean? Are you really that scared by the lights flickering? No, it's Heesh, the newbies just get sadder every year. What, do you need to hold my hand or something? No, it's just... Why don't you believe me? Dude, why don't you believe me? He's so useless, too. Oh no, I believe you. Which is why it's so sad to see you getting this bothered over an elevator malfunction. Uh, let's click. Let's go for nine. So this button doesn't seem to work. Okay, let's go to eight then. What's gonna happen? <laughs> what the heck? Why does he look like that? Is that? Ugh, why do I look like that? <laughs> they look so dead inside. They're coming closer. Who are you? This is my colleague, and I'm the newest employee here. It's nice meeting some friendly faces. And who would you two be? Avoid the question, introduce yourself. Eh, let's introduce ourselves, you know? I'm- the name's Clayton Clocks. Don't wear it out. Well, it's great to meet you two. If I can ask, what's brought you both here? Exploring, looking for help, looking for an exit. Or looking for an exit. Oh, you too? Maybe we could be of help to, to each other and exchange information. You see, we've been looking for an exit too. Huh? Maybe we can hop on with you guys? It makes things so much easier, right? Come on, what'd you say? Yes, no? Uh, how about no? Sorry man, don't trust ya. Well, at least we tried, right? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh no! Ending 8, Stranger Danger. I mean, we're s they're still stuck in the elevator, right? How many endings does this game have? It has 15 endings. Okay. 13 more to go. New game? Okay, he's asking that again. I think I just died. Yeah. Oh, did you? I must have been looking away. Do you not remember? Do you not care? Do you not remember anything? Oh no, that couldn't have been it. My memory is great. Maybe you suffered some brain damage? Never mind. Forget I said anything. Okay. Let's go to one. This button doesn't seem to work. Freaking useless. Okay, let's go to two. What's this? Ugh, something about this room feels awful. Like chewing on wads of cotton. Tell me about it. Who would you pair hard of palm wall paint with beach dune carpeting? I argue there's more upsetting parts, but he's not wrong about the color choices either. A sticky note stuck to the wall. Give us something alive. Oh. It seems stuck to the floor. A hole in the wall. Put something in it? Okay, let's put, um, what's his name? I forgot his name already. Oh, we don't have anything. Never mind. Oh, why would you get close? Weird, I don't see any... Ending 2 hole? 
<laughs> well, we gave it ourselves. That sucks. I know every office related problem. Yeah, yeah, I get the gimmick. No, seriously, I think I'm dying. Really? How long have you been working here? People don't usually start saying that until at least a few months in. Okay. 4 3. This is just dark. The elevator feels weirdly humid. Oh man. My glasses are starting to fog up when looking too close. Why can't I see anything? You feel a warm breeze on your face. It's coming from the front. Step in? Yeah, of course. You step in step. Mm. Ending 3A, dark. Oh man, okay. And I keep dying too. Oh, we're not gonna have our little dialogue? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go to 4-4. Four, four. What's going on? I don't get it. What's going on? Oh, right. I gotta exit. Huh? It's not opening. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. For all we know, the answer's probably right behind our noses. You mean under? That's what I said. Man, hire this guy. It's like you want your company to just fail. Okay. Okay, so this won't open for whatever reason. So we're just gonna go to 4-5. Okay. What the heck? Huh, my mouth tastes funny. This is a nuclear plant. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A warning. Your nose starts bleeding. The back of your throat tastes like tinfoil. We should have left already. I... I'm not feeling good. I think... We... Should... Any vibe? Radiation. <laughs> it was pretty obvious you're gonna die. Alright. On to four seven. What the heck? Oh my god. Ugh. It smells like roll kill in here. Something's definitely rotting. These pigs? Your co worker casually rests the hand against the wall while waiting for you. Ugh, it's disgusting in here. Can we hurry it up? His hand is now covered with blood. Seems there's blood coating everything in here. I'm gonna go back to keep being the lookout. You've been a real help. Good luck, buddy. This guy is so annoying. He's wiping his hand on my suit. An animal carcass that looks identical to the body next to it. There are cutting lines drawn around it. Okay. So we have to find a knife. From what I'm getting from this. Sharp looking hooks are dangling down from the ceiling. And this looks to be a hole. Okay. Let's go to... We still have the questions. They can't go to 4-9, huh? Yeah. Can't go to that 4. So let's go to... Four, four. So the floor eight. Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? I just wanted to check. Do you remember anything strange at all? Hmm, no. Not that I can recall. Why do you ask? 
It's just... Never mind. Make sure you stay safe is all. Aw. Yeah, yeah. You know, the trick to negotiations is to crack the weaker one first. When they get desperate enough, then they throw them then throw them a bone by acting like you understand them. And you'll hook him up for sure. You sure don't remember anything? Remember what? Never mind. The weaker one? Okay, guessing him. He's like avoiding eye contact. Hello. Can I speak with just him? Uh, uh yes, go right ahead. Where is this? How did you get here? When did you get here? Um, when did you get here? We, I... Well, who can say, really? It's been months. The doors haven't budged, the walls go on forever, there's no way out besides the door. They haven't opened since we got here. What? Shut it. You have to let us take it, take your place, please, we have to get out of here. Mm, let's push them further. How long have you been stuck here? I... How long? His wristwatch batteries ran out months ago. We don't know. Is that all you have with you? Just that and some scissors that we left in here. We got nothing. Nobody's coming to let us out. If we hand over the scissors and promise not to attack us, you can take our place. Thank you. Thank you so much. You received scissors. Sorry. Did we lie? <laughs> You press the close button before they can have the chance to come inside. No, no, no. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. They're trying their best to force open the door from the other side of the elevator. Wow. Huh? Nothing. I just didn't know you had that in you. That was cold-blooded. They were going to replace us otherwise. You wouldn't get it. No, I think I do. What? I mean, you didn't just... You didn't just brute force it or play dumb. You really pushed him to his limit, got him to open up before taking what you needed. You make a great employee here is all I'm saying. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, oh, I get it. What, you think I'm part of this somehow too? Don't you trust me? Um, no. I don't. See? You've got nothing to worry about. You're with me. You're with the same me as always. He's not real. I mean, what kind of employee would I be if I could replace he's not real? He was never real. He was never here to help. Nope. Oh, and we got off. But everyone's law is killing him. And then call real. Dang, that sucks. Okay, so now we have scissors, and we're going to go to, what floor was it? Was it five? Seven? Yeah, it was this floor. Okay. Say yes, we're gonna get it open. He cut through the carcass by following the dotted lines. He found a bag full of rotting organs all squeezed in together inside the carcass. Ugh. Oh? What? Seems like the floor was waiting to replace it with fresh meat. And in seven, we got butchered. Fun. Um, maybe let's try the one on the right. Maybe that might be different. Okay, let's try. This mom house smells worse than before in here. Cutting lines around it. Yes, let's cut. Cut through the carcass by following it on a line. And what is it that we found? You found the screwdriver placed inside the carcass amongst the organs. Take the screwdriver, yes. Push your hand through the insides of the carcass. We're doing all the dirty work. It makes a disgusting squelching sound as, it warm blood, as its warm blood soaks the end of your suit. You took the screwdriver. 
Okay, well, we took the screwdriver. Um, screwdriver. Mm. Mm. Let's see here. Let's go to all the floors again. Not click on anything here. Okay. Okay. There's a vent here. So we use the screwdriver here. It's a vent. It's screwed in tight. Can you hear something scratching from the inside? Screw the vent with the screwdriver. Yes. I don't get it. It was hard. You pull open the vent shaft. Okay. Anything in there? There was a rat scuttling about in the vent. Oh. It squeaks at you when you. <laughs> of course he is. Ah, what is that? I get blame him. Rats are scary though. How'd that get here? Close the vent. Close the vent. Take the rat. Yes. We could give it to that on that floor. What floor was it? The giant hole in it? Was it floor five? You're touching it? Why are you holding it? Put that back. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with you? You know what, man? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? You're the one holding that disgusting thing with your bare hands. Do you realize how dangerous that thing is? <laughs> You're doing that on purpose. <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. So I can just do this. Okay. I don't know, this weren't here before, no smoking sign. Making any progress? Your co-worker is taking out a cigarette. I don't think you're allowed to be smoking down here. Says who? Nobody important, never mind. Why didn't you say you had a light? This man had a lighter! This man actually had a lighter! Why didn't you say you had a lighter? You never asked for one. Well, then can I have that one? Are you kidding? This is a Sun Hill Signature Brass Plating Lighter. I'm not gonna let anyone play with it. Seems a bit much as just asking for a cigar lighter. What else would you use it for? Okay, moving saws. Stranger Danger application. <laughs> oh, this is all from the endings that we have, right? Or. Do we have 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Okay. I was kind of confused as to what. Um, let's go to this back wall. There's nothing important here. Alright. Let's leave, and I think it was the fifth floor. Hopefully it's the fifth floor. No, it's not. Oh shoot. Shouldn't be here for long. <laughs> Oops. Okay, no, this is the wrong floor. I don't remember. Uh two. Okay, it's this one. Perfect. Hole in the wall. Put the rat in. Yes. Sorry, rat. The rat starts trembling. It squirms at the desperately tries to escape your grip. Force the rat in. Yeah. You put your hand in the hole and let the rat go. You can hear a low whisper coming from the hole. Raise? Raise? Raise. Ugh. Okay, well, I don't understand what that meant. Okay, well, I mean, we fed it uh, to the that, so I don't know. Um, let's go for three. Oh. 
I'd say, can I have a light? Here, turns out I had one too. Now I can have the light? Sure thing. Just be careful with it. You received a lighter. Perfect. So now we can go here with that beast or whatnot. I don't know what's here. You can feel a warm breeze on your face. It's coming from the front. Light up? Yes. What the hell? Um. My, what sharp teeth you have. You know something shiny stuck in between the teeth? Pull it out. <laughs> yeah. You think it's supposed to- oh. Okay. We got Eden. That was my fault. I should have known better. Okay. Hey, there's a door behind us. What the hell? Why didn't we notice that before? That's number four. Oh, something up? You got all stiff and weird looking. Why can't this man see anything? Nothing, it's just, was that door always there? Not that I can remember, no. Right, must be getting deja vu, sorry. What's so familiar about it? Reminds me of my old place. Woman, the floors would creak loudly. I could barely get any sleep. I hit everything that I own. Number one? Yeah, probably your head playing tricks on you. Try not to get too distracted by any of that. Right, thanks. Okay. Oh, it's a bedroom. Shit, the floors creak whenever I go. I need to make this quick. Some bedside drawers. Open them, yes. You open the drawers, and nothing. You can hear a voice coming from the downstairs. Sweetie, is that you? Are you awake? Oh my god. Oh, what's this? A box in there under the bed. Open it. Yes. Open the box. Nothing but a useless drawing. I mean, I think? That's us, right? Wait. I'm not really sure. What are you doing up there? You're supposed to be asleep. The window shut in tight. Tried to open it. Uh, yes. You tried to open the window, but it doesn't budge. You better be sleeping when I get there. Bright light keeps the monsters away. There's a cross. Oh, wait. Was this his bedroom? A mirror hanging above the bed. Flip it to look at the back? Yes. You flip the mirror. Nothing but you. Oh. Oh god. And the four parents. Yeah, that was his- that was his childhood. I guess he saw his mom as a monster? Or his dad? I'm not sure. Okay, what other floor do we need? So if I go to floor 4, I still can't open the door. Yeah, I can't open the door. So I need to go to floor 9, but that won't work. So what other floor is right? I need floor like the one with the party desk and whatnot. 7 and 8. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Make sure to keep that scissors to yourself. That stuff can be real dangerous. Alright. Investigating. And you got, that's why he got so scared. Oh. Okay, I need to make this quick. A neatly made bed. Look under the sheets. Yes. He looked under the sheets. Nothing. You can hear a voice coming from downstairs. Okay, under the pillows. Jacket. Oh, what's here? I don't understand. There has to be something in this room. Hmm. 
Okay, we found a sleeping pill. Alright, bye. Never come back again. Sleeping pill. Oh, we can use it on that monster or the thing with the mouth or whatnot. And that was on four. Was that on three? Yeah, that was on four three. I think I would have preferred not to be able to see anything. Yeah. Feel a warm breeze on your face? Light it up? Yes. Uh. Let's say no. That's a bad idea. As if it sense that you had a pill with it, it's refusing to eat anything you give. Is there a way to trick it? Yeah, I'm not gonna figure out a way to trick it. Okay. Okay, so K A C E, those are our initials. Let's go, let's get out of here. No starts to bleed. No, 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 I don't want to die. Please, let me leave. Okay, now let's go to 4 3. Oh no, it was 2. Never mind, oops. 4 2. It wasn't. Man, I can't remember the 4 is. What was it? Which one was it? It was six. Yeah, it was this one. Okay, so the initials in like that nuclear active radioactive place, it was K A C E. So on the question there. So the I uh, know C A, not K, why did I say K? C A C E. So it's a functional left kidney. I should have, well, I kind of guessed that. Because <laughs> it's the most outrageous answer, of course. Functional left kidney. It's a grief, it's anger. That is the most logical one. Okay, A. C, it's 10,000 years. Even is question four, and then it will be E. 10, 6, 28. Okay, E. And E is. is four? Right? One, two, three, four. Four. Choose D? Oh, I got that wrong. I'm so dumb. I died. Okay. Okay, we'll push the form back. Okay. You, please? When you open it again to check, you notice the form has been replaced with something else. Great, we don't get killed again. You received a crumpled note. 421923. Um, well, the only thing I can use that for is the office phone. Okay, four, two, one. Is it nine, two, three? Two, three? Click. Oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Was it four, two, three? Huh. 
Oh, dang it. Okay, so it was actually nine. I guess I can't see things right. They were both actually nine, not four. I don't know, it looked like a four to me. Click. You deserve a treat. I'll deliver it to you the next time. I'll call. Make sure to come pick it up. Okay. Like, what? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll call. So, when did we get the treat? back nothing no no okay I don't get it <laughs> maybe I go through all the floors first and then come back Keyhole with the word lobby written above it. Okay, so we have to find the key, basically. Okay, so we had to die to be able to. You see, it'll give us a ring, so the phone's ringing. You hear a phone ring from the distance. Alright, let's go on to floor six. Okay, the cake! Yay! Sweet looking cake. Take it? Absolutely. You took the cake. You can probably hide the sleeping pill in the cake. You combine the two. You now have a drug cake. Perfect. Okay. Now we can go and drug whatever that thing is. Okay, let's read it a drug cake. Yes, absolutely. You threw the drug cake in. Is it sleeping? You hear a loud snore roaring out from the inside of the throat. The floor is now asleep. It should be safe to look around now. Okay, what is that shiny thing? Let's pull it out. Yes. I found a CD. A CD. Okay, C E D. Okay, that computer is not a real one, so I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to find it, but I'm not really sure. Nothing here? Or Okay. There's something here. Okay, we can cut it open. Oh. Oh, so this was a computer. The entire elevator wall seems to be made of, of pulsating mass flesh. There's an old computer screen squeezed in amongst the lumps. Insert the CD. Um, yeah. You booted up the computer. Okay, anything happen? And put a five digit passcode to gain access, all capital. Um, it was raised. It was what that hole in the wall gave us. Okay, it was raised. I know that for sure. Raise S and E. And then, okay. This better be okay. We now have access to floor 9. Hey, perfect. Awesome. I mean, that's the floor we need to go to. This is so weird. Like, what did we do to have this happen to us? Well, to our character, of course. I'm not sure about the other guy. I forgot his name already. Oh, good. You made it. I was worried you'd gotten lost. Please, take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. 
Okay. Oh! And the ninth wall. What? Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have trusted that. That was my own fault. In hindsight, that was the only way that was gonna go. Yeah. I think I'm going to be fine over here. Of course, wherever you feel comfortable best. It's nice finally getting to meet you. You're here for your first day, right? What? How are you? <laughs> oh my god, what do we do? I want to say we feel like shit, because we do. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you have any trouble getting here? Um... It was hell. That's what it was. That difficult, hmm? Did you think of asking anyone for help? Well, that's alright, that's alright. I trust you'll be able to find your way around eventually. I see you had a senior to help with any questions you had. How was your time spent with your colleague? He wasn't helpful, but better than being alone. He was helpful and great to have around. He was a good resource. He was totally useless. Man, he was totally useless. Hey! So you say you got absolutely nothing out of having someone who worked here with you? Well, yeah. Pretty much. Well, not really. We got the ladder from him. Even though he has more work experience than you. Even though he's infinitely more qualified. Even though slandering higher ups is something that an entry level position isn't qualified to be doing. Well, it's fine. We'll make sure to have you work on your own in the future because that's more helpful. Speaking of how easily you fared getting here. Are your lungs working all right? Um. <laughs> yeah? Great! Sorry about asking, I just hadn't seen your resume. It must have not crossed my mind. What is your greatest fear? Height? Um. Failing this interview? Having a job? Being replaced? I don't know. Honestly, God, I'm afraid of heights too. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear that. Could you step a bit closer? Um, I can't even see the horizon. I'm getting vertigo. Heights? Oh, got it. Well, I don't think you'll have much to worry about. We'll make sure to keep you in lower management then. Works for me. How did you hear about this position? Well, I heard about it through the paper. And what about it drew you to it? What made you want this job? Being a part of something bigger than myself? Being able to make a living wage? Seeing that's capable? I don't know. Um, two? Oh, but work here is so much more than another step to your paycheck. Why? Hmm. Why is it more than just getting paid? Can I just clock in for work and do what's asked of me? Get my paycheck and live more personally on my own time? Oh. Did I say, what would you consider your biggest weakness? My personality, decides to nip point, clip escape prunes. Um. Maybe by indecisiveness? That's nothing to worry about. Our policies here are pretty forgiving if you end up saying the wrong thing, or have a hard time making a decision. Consequences to previous mistakes are always something that you can learn from. Just remember, you always have the chance to make a different choice. If you have more questions, we can loop back around to the topic later. That's fine, I think I'm getting the point. Last but not least, why should we hire you? I'm irreplaceable, I'm a problem solver, functional left kidney. I have a functional left kidney. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Did you have any questions on your end? What? Thanks again for making it. I want another meeting soon, so we'll have to discuss further inquiries later. Oh, but one more thing. He reaches to shake your hand. Welcome aboard the team. Oh, we got a key. We received the key. Consider this as a welcome gift. Hopefully, we'll talk again soon. So, this was a whole thing to... 
This guy was part. Well, we're right. We were. Right. We were right not to trust him. This is his stop, huh? What? Did you forget that easily? I got a meeting up on the top floor. This is where I get off. Ah, right. Wait, I almost forgot. I need to give your lighter back. Don't worry about it. You can give it back when we go for a break, yeah? It, yeah, I'll see you then. Coworker stepped off the elevator. What the hell? In the blink of an eye, he's gone. You can't see him anymore. Okay. You're alone on the elevator now. Lobby room. I'll put the key in. Yes. Use the key. You now have access to the first floor. And who are the other two versions of us? You hurriedly get off the elevator. Man, I would not want a job here, I swear. <laughs> it's your chance to leave. He's so happy. Hey, watch where you're going. What's the hurry? What? Are you leaving? But you just got here. You passed your interview. What reason do you have to be upset? You did what you came here to do? Didn't you do good enough? Why would you want to just leave after all that? What did you expect? Do you realize how many people were killed to be in your position? You haven't even worked one day and you're already throwing it away? Are you gonna quit that easily? You barely even done anything. How do you expect to live on your own out there if you can't even do this simple task? Why are you giving up all the work you've done to get here? Don't you need this job? You need this job. You need this job. You need this job. Oh, I, I need this job. Please watch where you're going in the future. What? <laughs> they asked if it was just another elevator, so everyone's stuck here? And they want to escape? That wasn't an escape. We're just stuck here. Okay, um... So this is some sort of a paranormal type of workplace? And I'm not really sure exactly what they do here. I mean, they're all salary men and women, I'm guessing. And they all work like office jobs where they're like some other supernatural level to it? This is all super weird. You're currently on... We're not at any floor. A call help button. Try calling for help? Okay, I never tried calling for help before. Hello, is anyone there? Hello, this is Manuel speaking. The building's maintenance and safety head. What can I help you with? Oh, thank god, yes, we're stuck in one of the elevators? Can you help us get the doors open? Um, are you still- What can I help you with? We're stuck- Yes, I can send help with that. Our safety team is on its way. Make sure not to stand too close to the walls. If someone is injured, do not look at them. What? And finally, don't press X and we'll be there to assist you within the next 30 seconds. Thank you so much. Hey, hang up. Thank you for calling the building maintenance and safety head. Goodbye. I love you. What? <laughs> what did he say at the end there? The call clicks off. Okay, let's wait for help and see what happens. Just have to wait like uh, 20 more seconds. I feel like someone's gonna come and kill us. I don't know. This company is so weird. It's just standing there. So it was the I love you in the script? It sounded like everything he was saying was scripted before that bit. You heard that too? I couldn't tell either. Okay, I'm glad I wasn't the only one. It just seemed really out of left field. Help has arrived. The elevator door finally opens. Hi, sorry about that. Thank you so much for coming so quickly. Took you. <gasps> What? What? 
it's because we asked for help. I guess since he let us call for help, they, he also, like, what was his name, Bryce? He also was killed because of that. Oh my god. Okay. Let's, let's do what he, like, what he asked us not to do and press X. Yeah, let me play Urban Skills Me. Okay, let's press X. Actually, this is taking forever. I don't think they're coming. Alright, press X. Nothing seemed to have happened. And that's it? Alright, that's it. Okay. How do you all over again? That's dumb. <laughs> That's like 13 endings, right?
shit. smoking oh so we lit the whole <laughs> we lit the whole elevator on fire that's nice to do what the <gasps> I got killed okay we're hired why are we hired Oh, yeah, we got the... Wait, I'm not sure. Okay, and that's the end of Elevator Hitch. I believe I got almost all the endings except for the last one. Like, the last one is unlocked if you get all the endings. But I'm pretty sure I got all of them, but it didn't unlock for some reason. But overall, this was a great game to play, and it was really fun. And... Yeah, it was just overall really fun and enjoyable. All the deaths and all the puzzles and whatnot were interesting. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!